Hi, Oscar. Good evening. Hello, Oscar. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? Aquí un poquito en el tráfico, pero ahí vamos. De otro momento completo la reunión. Vaya, no se preocupe. Igual, aquí, bueno, creo que la mayoría de tuvimos un problema de energía, pero acá por lo menos ya hay. Vamos a esperar a ver qué sucede. Perfecto. Gracias. Thank you, Oscar. Hi, Walter. Walter, how are you? Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Fine, a little tired, but... Yes, okay. imagine, all right. Hi, Daniel, hi, Domingo, solo de menos segundo. Hello, teacher. All right, very good guys, sorry. Um, hi, Daniel, hi, Domingo, Bismar. Hi, nice to see you. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Se nos había perdido no, Bismar, very good. Oscar, hi. And Claudita. Okay, Claudia, no se preocupe. All right, no sé si por su casita se le fue la luz, ¿no? Sí, un poquito. Sí. Okay, también por acá. All right, sí, de, de hecho no hace mucho vino por acá, so, yeah. All right, esperemos que no, tenem, no tengamos ningún inconveniente. We're going to see. Esperamos que sigamos bien para poder estar en toda la clase. With you guys. Very good. Anita, le acabo de mandar un mensaje, Anita. <laughs> Right, Hola, Miss. Sí, aquí también va, va viniendo ahorita. Sí, sí, y le acabo de mandar un mensajito yo a usted. All right. <laughs> Okay, very nice. Thank you. Debbie también está por acá. And Ever. All right, guys. Very good. We're going to start then. Okay, let me see here. Okay, perfect. Very good, guys. So we were talking yesterday about transition words of addition. All right. And we were talking about some specific ones. We were talking about furthermore. ¿Cuáles son las otras que vimos ayer? Do you remember any of the other words that we saw yesterday? In addition. In addition, yes. Uh, some, some. Okay, in addition. Some, some, some. Okay, also, también. All right, another one. More above. Moreover. Uh, moreover. Excellent, very good. Yeah, so we saw those yesterday. Okay, so we're going to keep on talking about that. Um, vamos a esperar, o sea, en la medida que va avanzando la clase, esperamos que los demás compañeros y compañeras se unan, pero creo que esto de la luz se fue como casi que en muchos lugares. No sé, no sé si decir a nivel nacional, pero sí en el Gran San Salvador, sí. All right, so it's, esperemos que los demás se logren conectar. In the meantime, we're going to continue. All right, with what we have to do. A eso de las y cuarto y veinte voy a tomar la primera asistencia. All right. Okay, guys. So here we have this. Uh, we were looking at this yesterday. Furthermore, in addition, moreover, and besides. Okay. Whenever we use this um, transition of addition, uh, we need to use a comma. All right, so we have in addition, comma, furthermore, comma, moreover, comma, okay? So this is what we were like looking at yesterday. De hecho, vimos some punctuation. Y ya para terminar, I was showing you, hi, Mariano. Hi, teacher. Hi, I was showing you this. A ver, esto de acá. ¿Verdad que eso fue lo último que vimos ayer? 
Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So I said that we were going to work on this um to today. All right. So here we're using one of the addition words of transition. We have also. All right. We use also very often. We use also also when we are speaking all right more than writing or more than formal writing okay so we use also moreover once more and furthermore we use it in a more formal context especially moreover and furthermore we usually use it for formal um writing for more for more formal like speeches okay now and then we have what's more that's another expression or another transition word of addition but in a way it expresses surprise all right tal vez usted no sabía que aquí persona uh, ha viajado a ciertos países pero también ha viajado hasta Asia, África y por todos esos lados entonces dice what's more Daniel has traveled to many African countries, all right? No solo se ha quedado en Latinoamérica, sino que Daniel ha andado por allá por África, all right? For example. So in a way, we use it to express surprise also. And then we have in addition, all right? It comes in a list of actions as we were mentioning yesterday. It's formal, all right? But it's not as formal as furthermore. And then we have besides. Besides, we usually use it in speech more than in writing, all right? So besides and also son como más in an everyday conversation, okay? Furthermore, moreover and in addition is more like written and more formal like, okay? Now, what we are going to do here, guys, uh, we're gonna work on this, but before we do, Voy a empezar a tomar asistencia para poder hacer esto soon. All right, just give me a second, guys, because of this not internet thing. I kind of lost everything here. Wait, guys, please. I'm going to take attendance right now, rather, so we keep on working with this. All right, guys, I'm going to take attendance. Hi, Ever, ya lo vemos. A ver. Uh, Abner Eni. Adela Trinidad. Present. Thank you, Trini. Eh, Claudia Guadalupe is there. Daniel Antonio Luna is here. Present, teacher. Yes, thank you. Domingo Alexander. Present, teacher. Ever de Jesus. Present, teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. José Roberto Bernabé, Carla Benazir Lara González, Carlita Wijasna, Carla no, Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo, Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala, Kevin Esteban Menquim. I'm here. Thank you, Kevin. Then we have Leticia Guadalupe Garcia de Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you, Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present teacher. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Thank you, Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present, Miss. Thank you, Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Okay, Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Ana, Ana Maria Palacios Araujo. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present, sorry, present. Thank you. Uh, Miss Marulises Martinez Ortiz. Present. 
And David Jasmine Hiron Ramirez. Is Debbie with us? Debbie, 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 Debbie. All right. Hold on. All right, guys. Antes que se me olvide, ¿cómo vamos con la plataforma? Hay unos que me deben todavía, me debían al principio de esta semana. Miss, yo sigo sin tener acceso. Le escribí el lunes después del fin de semana que también le había comentado un poco. Sí, y de hecho yo pasé su reporte, Anita. ¿No le han ayudado aún? No, todavía no. De hecho, también le escribí a la otra chica que estaba, bueno, que, que me escribió lo de las clases, ¿Sí? pero no me respondieron. No sé si me tengo que ingresar a otro lado. No, ¿sabe que Yo mañana igual eh, voy a volver a recordarles y a, hágame un favor. También hágalo usted, porque así es como we pressure. <ríe> All right, Ani. Okay, pero sí, yo voy a hablar ahí otra vez. A ver. Um, a Villa, quiero ver. Carla Michelle, no. Mariano, ¿cómo vamos con la plataforma de la unidad 1, Mariano? Eh, me falta, me, me, la verdad es que me he atrasado, pero ya me voy a poner el día, el día esta semana. Vicky Promise. <ríe> All right, Walter, yes, sí. <ríe> Walter, igual, ¿usted cómo va con la plataforma con la unidad 1, Walter? Avanzado. Working slowly. Slowly but surely. <laughs> okay, well, then that's fine. That's fine. Thank you. Y vi que Debbie sí se puso el día de vida. All right. Cuando entró tardecito por cuestiones eh, que ya sabemos, pero ya se puso super al día. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. That's that's very nice of you. José Roberto no ha entrado. Roberto, Roberto. No. All right. Very good. Okay, guys. So. Remember that this week, tenemos todavía hoy, mañana, and Friday to finish unit two. Quiere decir que para el fin de semana tenemos que haber terminado la unidad dos y el examen. All right. Y ya luego, next Monday and so on, prácticamente eh, ya podemos empezar la unidad tres a partir del lunes. Entonces, sí es como ir al día, ¿verdad? Ya de ahí para allá nos quedan like 10 days. All right. So, time flies anyhow. All right. Domingo, no se duerma, domingo. Wake up. Domingo. Domingo is very tired today. <laughs> All right, Domingo, I'm sorry. Vaya Mariano y no va a trabajar solito. Ya está bismar. Uh, I had the flu. Yeah, me había abandonado. You have the flu, Domingo. Me yes. siento. Yes. Ah, Ando mucoso. I'm sorry. Are you taking medicine today? Domingo, are you taking medicine? No, no me dicen hasta que sufra primero. Right, okay. okay. To, today, uh, it's medicine. Okay. All right, very good. Okay, guys, so let's work on this right now. Ahorita no nos vamos a ir a los grupos del producto, sino que a los grupos at random que vamos a hacer con la plataforma. All right, so I want you to, guys, Uh, take a picture of this. O oh, si gusta, no sé si le tomaron a esto primero. Para que les pueda ayudar. Take a picture of this and send it to the group. And then we can work with the other part of the exercise. Got it? Can I move? Yes. Excellent, thank you. And then this is the second part. I mean, this is the exercise. And we can work it on together with the groups that I'm going to assign just now. All right, so please send it to the group so everybody has it. I'm going to stop sharing. What is the instruction? You just read it and you decide if you're going to use besides, moreover, uh, in addition, basado en la teoría que está arriba de colores. All right, so please follow that and then you're going to have, you're not going to have any problems with that. Igual los que no pueden participar en los grupos pequeños se quedan por acá. All right, so let's go right now, guys. You know what? I'm going to make more groups. Um, okay. All right, let's try this. Los que no pueden participar se quedan por acá. Y yo muevo.
Teacher. Hola, Eve. Me quedé fuera, teacher. ¿Qué pasó, Eve? Sí. No sé. <risa> pero como, entré, pero me volvió a sacar, no sé. Eh, ahorita lo voy a mandar a la sala 1, porque él es solita. Ok. Hola, Carlita. Hi, teacher. Hey, Carla, how are you? I'm very well. Excellent. Carla, se acaban de ir, habrá unos dos minutos con un ejercicio que acabo de mandar al grupo. Ok. Ok, la voy a mandar a la sala 1, donde Ever y Leti. Ok. Thank you. Okay.
Hi, Anita. Hi, Anita. Hi, Miss. I'm sorry. Me conecté ya ahorita de la compu, pero no sé si me puede incluir al grupo que estoy. Estoy con Walter y con... Y con Domingo. Ahorita, sí. Hola, Anita. Ready. Hello, teacher. Alberto. Sorry, teacher. Traffic, the traffic was crazy tonight. Yes, I can imagine, Roberto. Uh, uh, actually, uh, I'm going I'm driving. You're uh, driving? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, that's okay, Roberto. Don't worry. You can stay here, okay? Okay, okay. Thank you.
y seguido de una coma. O sea que usted antes de tener un punto y coma va a poner moreover y después va a poner coma. Hi guys, what yeah. else are you working on right now? Oh, we are we are confused, teacher. What happened? For the meaning, for the meaning, and for the use, for the different for the additions. Uh huh. What number are you for right now? Oh. Well, for example, la uno nosotros habíamos escogido poner for more. Okay. Yes. And la dos, I haven't had time to see the film. And we put in beside. Mm -hmm. It's hard to of review. Okay. That is that's okay. Is that okay? All right. Solo tres habíamos hecho. Y estábamos okay. discutiendo las tres ahorita. A ver, she speaks German, French. Mm -hmm. Y en ese mm -hmm. mismo caso, furthermore. Furthermore. Yes, teacher. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. Maybe. Yeah, remember that. It, de hecho, si ustedes ven en la página, dice complete the gaps, ¿verdad? Sometimes more than one linker or one um, addition word can be suitable. Entonces, podemos, acuérdense que todos estos son sinónimos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Entonces, they can be interchangeable and they can be like mixed. So more than one, it's always okay, all right? So I think the one that you have chosen right now, guys, sorry. Oops, I guys. I think the one that you have chosen, it's fine. It's okay, it makes sense. All right, okay. very good, yeah, you, you continue. Okay, that's fine. Okay, thank you, teacher. If I finish, let me know, okay, on the WhatsApp on group.
Teacher. I am. I'm sorry, teacher. Se me fue la luz. Y voy a estar con la, con la cámara apagada porque estoy sin luz. Ah, ok. Estoy con, sí, sí, estoy, estoy solamente con, con datos. Así que si, si todavía están trabajando, si gusta, ayúdeme a, a incorporarme. Sí, claro que sí. Estaba en la 1, ¿verdad? Sí, en la 1. Okay. Hey, Thank you. Que dice que se han perdido 300 megawatts de carga en el sistema. Sí, Ay, Dani, Kevin, and Debbie, ¿you finished? Yeah, yeah teacher. teacher, we guess, we guess finished. We're, we're talking about, about the, 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 how to say, corte de energía. Ah, uh, the shortage. The electric problems. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah. <laughs> we're talking about this. <laughs> did you, did you? Yeah. You didn't have energy before, like electricity, no? Yeah, I yeah. have. Oh, so you didn't suffer from that, Kevin? No. Oh, cool. What about Debbie and Daniel? Did you always have electricity this yeah. evening? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Y ahorita uh -huh. Everson uh -huh. se iba a ir y Everson Santana. Ah, ¿qué fue? Tecotuca, Santa Ana, San Vicente, San Miguel. Todo el país, fue, creo que fue. Fueron como en ocho departamentos. ¿En serio que vine a usted no le falló? No, ¿Tú? ya va a ver. Incluso fue acá una compañera que, que ya le menciono. Ay, lo borró. Lo borró no porque se lo iba a leer. Pero sí, fue en otros lugares. Zacatecoluca, San en Honduras, Vicente. Y Honduras y Guatemala también. Están diciendo. De hecho, en los centros ah. comerciales no hubo luz un rato, allá en Multiplaza, creo. Wow. <risas> Igual en Metro, acá en Metro, solo que yo vivo cerca de Metro y no se fue la luz, quizás porque, <risas> quizá porque estoy a la par del gobierno. Hey, eso depende de, de las zonas también, porque con mi hermana, ahí en Antigua tampoco se fue. Ah, pues quizás uh -huh. eso es. Donde hay piso, no, no. no se va. <risa> claro. Yo la cacho porque estoy a la, a la orilla de ellos. <risa> ok. okay. Ah, bueno, vamos a ir para ahí, Kevin. <risa> Vaya. <risa> Kevin, sí, de hecho aquí se fue como 5 a las 7 y regresó como un cuarto a las 8. Igual Acá aquí. se fue como cuarto sí. a las 7 y regresó como 20 a las 8 también. Ajá, uh, alright. Sí, ahora, sí. Sí, exacto. I thought, no clases today. <risa> y yo, ¿cómo sí, le aviso a la teacher? Sí, de hecho, Anita me escribió y me dice, teacher, que no tengo luz y no se preocupe, yo tampoco. Yo tampoco. <risa> <risa> yes. Pero bueno, lo bueno. Okay. Vamos, all right. lo, lo bueno es que andaban datos en el teléfono. No, y sabe que a mí se me había descargado el celular. Yo tampoco tenía carga en el cel. Es el problema, es el problema. All right, guys, very good.
les voy a dar un minuto más a todos los demás porque hay grupos que no han terminado, pero ya casi están terminando. All right? Y luego regresamos. Ok. Right. Ok. okay. Sí. Right, guys, I think everybody's coming back now. Were you able to finish, Domingo, Walter? Yes. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Y porque tan pe... Ah, no, si sí, me contó que ande enfermito. Solo por eso lo perdono. Oh. Ah, bye. Okay. Okay. Right. Ya vas, ya vas tú no pro de repente. Yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. All right, everybody's coming back now. So we're going to check this exercise. All right, now it's very important for you to um, notice or to know that these are transition words or transition adverbs that we're using most of the time because they are synonyms, more than one is okay. All right, so that's something important that you need to know, okay? So usually we can have two, or maybe three possibilities and they make sense. So it's okay. So let's look at it right now. Let's see, number one, guys, I just wanna see you here. So I'm not gonna share, ustedes lo tienen ahí. Number one, um, Debbie, tell us sentence number one. Ya leala tal cual la, le quedó a usted y a su grupo. Okay. Eh, eh, ay, espérame. Dice, she speaks German, French, and furthermore, furthermore, a little Russian. Okay, so she speaks German, French, and furthermore, a little Russian. Okay, any other? Any other possibility? Uh huh. More over. Over. Okay, another possibility. Carla Vanessa, what do you have for that one? Furthermore? Yes, teacher. Furthermore. Furthermore. All right. Mariano, what do you have for number one? Furthermore, teacher. Excellent. All right. Any other possibility? No? That's more. Excuse me? What's more? Okay, yeah. Another possibility that you can write, guys, is in addition. All right? You can have that one too, but it's okay. Furthermore, it's just fine. Okay, nice. Number two. Let's see. Um, mm, 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 mm. Anita, no sé si puede participar, Anita. Yes, yes. All right, thank you. Anna, can you read number two? Yes. 
I haven't had time to see the film. Also, no, oh, perdón, me equivoqué aquí, perdón. What's more, it had a awful review. Okay, that's a possibility. Another one, guys, thank you. Anybody else use a different one? What does the rest have? Bismar, or Debbie, Domingo, uh huh. We have also. Also, yeah. All right. In addition. Okay. In addition. Okay. All right. But okay, that's fine. Okay. Other, you can also use besides. You say I haven't had time to see that film. Besides, it's had an awful. It ha it's had awful reviews. You can also say besides. Si alguien de ustedes puso besides is perfectly fine, okay? That's another possibility. Very good, let's see. Bismar, do you have, <coughs> excuse me, do you have number three? Uh, they knew the painting was forgery. Also, they knew how paint, painted it. Okay, also can be another possibility. In addition, in addition, in addition, yes, or another one. Excuse me? What's more? Yeah, you may be surprised. What's more, they knew who had painted it. All right, no solo sabían que era un plagio, sino que también sabían quién había hecho esa pintura. All right, es el plagio de esa pintura. All right, so it can be what's more because it's a little bit surprising too. All right, next one. Um, Carla Vanessa, do you want to do number four, please? Also, the names on the list, there are six other applicants. Mm -hmm. Applicants? I get up. All right, so you have also, Vani, Carlo Vanessa? Yes. Ah, all right. Eso sí, tengo un poquito de, mm, I think also is not so suitable in that one. Someone else has a different answer. Furthermore. Besides. Besides, I think that's better. Besides the names of the list, there are six other applicants to interview today. All right, I think it's a little bit better than the other ones. I'm not saying they are wrong, I'm saying it works better. All right, let's do number five. Let's see here. Um, Kevin, do you wanna read number five, please? Okay. Okay, number five. Yes. Um, she not only plays with bad, also writes music. Okay, could be. All right, another possibility, guys. Any other possibility? In addition. <laughs> She's not, she not only pays well, but in addition, she writes music. What's yeah. more? Yeah, you know what? I think what's more would be better because it's like you're shocked. Like you're a little surprised also. It's, it has to do guys with the intonation. It has to do with the context. So I would go with what's more. All right, sounds a little bit better than the other ones. All right, let's see, number six. Daniel, are you there, Daniel? Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm here. Number six. Let me let me see. Okay, paying just five dollars a month, you will have full from restricted access to our entire online library of movie clips. Moreover, every time we introduce a new title you will have immediately access to, to it as long as you remain a subscriber. 
Okay. All right. So you have um, more. Moreover. Yes. Could yes. be another yes. one. Any other one? Any other alternative, guys, that you have written? Besides, teacher. Uh, let me see here. Uh, besides, every time we. Yeah, also furthermore, you can also use furthermore for that one. Yes, um, Evan, that could have also be another possibility. Number seven, let's see. Mariano, can you read number seven, please? Pretty sure. Wait. Number seven. The rent for the building was reasonable. 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 What's more, the local localis, localis, localization was perfect. Yeah, all right. What's location? More? Location perfect. was perfect. Yes, that could be. Also, you can use furthermore, porque pareciera que el precio del alquiler y donde está ubicado son como de igual um, importancia. So you can also write furthermore for that one, okay? Or what's more, either or, it's okay. All right, excellent. Thank you, Mariano. And the last one, the book. Uh, Trini, do you want to do number eight, Trini? Maybe she's not around. Um, Debbie, you want to do number eight? Uh, the book also has a chapter on history. The book also has a chapter on history, okay, all right. Yeah, you have the book and then has, and you can apply also, I mean, also very well there. Yeah, also sounds better. Yeah. <clears throat> also, it's pretty much always in between. And that's the difference with the other ones. The other ones may begin the sentence, all right, but also it's probably in the middle, just like that exercise, the book, also has a chapter on history. So let's uh, stick with number, uh, for number eight, the use of also, okay? All right, guys, very good. I'm gonna take the second attendance of the night. So then we can continue with our book here. All right, just give me a second. We have Abner Eli Fuentes Flores. Adela Trinidad Gonzalez Consuegra. Present. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gomez. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Carla Benacir Lara González. All right. Hold on. Portillo. All right, Carla Vanessa Vasquez de Ayala. Present. Kevin Esteban Mengibar Merino. I'm here. Thank you. Leticia Guadalupe Garcia de Miranda. Present teacher. Leti Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present teacher. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Sandoval. All right. Um, Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present, Miss. Thank you. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemus. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Ana Maria Palacios Araujo. Present. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Bismar Ulises Martinez Ortiz. Present. And Debbie Jasmine Giron Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, guys. So let's continue here with the book right here. It says page 22, exercise five. It says write a 10 line paragraph about the advantages and disadvantages of implementing a focus group to a test a product. Use a transition of addition and the following advantages and disadvantages below. So here we have this, disadvantages, for example, 
not enough stereotypes in the selected audience, not considering that the participants are part of the target language, dominant personality within the group. And then we have advantages, relatively inexpensive, a variety of options, and another advantage is accurate and unbiased opinions, all right? So, esto lo vamos a dejar para después. I just wanted to read it to you guys, and then I wanna move on with this, all right? Y luego van a seguir con lo del uh, product, okay? So here we have page 23. Ya vamos a regresar al ejercicio anterior. Don't worry about it. Ahí van a tener que escribir. Let's see. It says building vocabulary, go online, cosa que no vamos a hacer ahorita, uh, to find out more about key terms related to product testing. Write a sentence using each key term. Here we have targeted sample, random sample, competitive threat, and I'm biased, all right? Now, what I want you to do, ahorita se van a ir a sus grupos. What I want you to do is don't go online. I dice, váyase a, a, a buscar en the web, pero no lo vamos a hacer. All right, what I want you to do is I want you to tell me in your own words, what is targeted sample? What is random sample, competitive threat, and I'm biased, okay? Ahora. Si dentro de todos los que están en el grupo no terminan de entender qué es, por ejemplo, competitive threat, you can look it up. All right? Y lo pueden, hasta entonces lo pueden buscar. After you have done it, lo primero es hacer como sus definiciones sin buscar en la web. A menos que de verdad nadie de su grupo tenga una idea de what a competitive threat is y no me lo pueden definir, entonces buscan, leen y luego definen in your own words. The second task mm -hmm. is, una vez hayan hecho eso, van a ocupar targeted sample, random sample, competitive threat, and unbiased in a sentence. All right, any sentence you want. Obviamente ya sabiendo qué quiere decir cada uno después de haber hecho ustedes sus propias definiciones explicando que es targeted sample, random sample, competitive threat, and unbiased. All right, so. Trabajamos en page 23, exercise 6. All right, guys, son mm, las 9 con 2. Avísenme cuando ya hayan terminado en el grupo de WhatsApp para poderlo sacar y eh, más o menos saber y no interrumpirles en lo que están haciendo. Ahorita it's working on los grupos que están, no en los grupos del producto, working on that exercise, okay? Let's go, guys. Chamba ya puede estar en un grupo. Chamba. Yes, miss. Carla Michelle, ya entró. Hi, Carla Michelle. Ya. Hola. Carlita. ¿Cómo está? Bien, no sé qué tal. Mire que aquí se había ido la luz y por eso me conecté tarde. Sí, Carlos, no sé. De hecho, a mí también se me fue. Sí, me, sí vino la luz antes de las 8, pero no se preocupe. Hasta así que todo se nos fue la luz ahora. Ya la voy a unir a un grupo, Michelle. Téngame paciencia ahí. Kevin. Kevin, can you join a group?
Carla Michelle, ¿se quiere quedar acá o la mando a un grupo para que esté escuchando, Carlita? Si gusta, póngame un grupo para escuchar. Y está enferma. Fíjese que me dio gripe y después de la gripe me ha quedado como una tos alérgica. Ajá. Ok, claro. Entonces, por la tonelada. Sí, sí. Vaya. Da como ataque de tos, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Mire, es muy, muy buena para, para las clases de inglés. Yo estuve estudiando un tiempo en el IRCA y a mí, me, a mí me costó, en el IRCA me costó mucho agarrarlo. Sí. Y aquí siento que hay cosas que sí se las eh, sé traducir en todo lo que ustedes están hablando, pero en pronunciarlo o formarlo me cuesta. Claro, sí, pero, pero bien, Carlita, me alegra que aquí esté tratando, ¿verdad? Y eso, eso es importante. Ok, así que no, no sé, esa día vamos a terminar el, el módulo <ríe> y ya va a poder estar en el módulo correcto, pero sí, mire, lo bueno es que algo, algo está ahí captando y tratando de, de estar, así es que súper bien por eso, Carlita, oye. Muchas gracias. Thank you. La voy a mandar para que igual, eh, ahorita estamos trabajando Carla, en la página 23, ejercicios 6. Y es vocabulario, ¿verdad? Entonces tampoco puede hacer que los compañeros no lo sepan todo, entonces entre dos hay uno. Vaya, está bien. Excelente, ahorita. Vaya, Carlita. Hi, teacher. Hi, Letty. Can you send me in the group one, please? Yes, of course, Letty, ahorita. My intern is falling. That's okay, don't worry about it. Ahorita la mando. Thank you. You're welcome.
All right, guys, let's check this. You can see how we did with this information. Let's just give me a second here. All right, let's see. Carla Vanessa's group. What did you guys come up as a definition of targeted sample? What is that for you? Okay. Uh, we think that if I structure this method used to give a small product to a specific fraction of people. Oh, nice. I like that. I like that. Very nice. Well done. You were working, Carlita, with whom? With Ever, Leticia, and Chamba. Okay, very nice. Excellent. Let's see. What about anybody else? Another group? What is targeted sample, guys? I'm just going to stop sharing so I can see everybody here. Uh, we already had the definition of Carla's group. Anybody else with another definition of what is a uh, targeted sample? Um, for me, teacher, a uh, targeted sample is for uh, a specific group mm -hmm. on the market. Okay. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Someone else, maybe from uh, Anita's group, what is targeted sample for you guys? Uh, for us, a uh, target sample is the principal and client for who think the idea for the product. Okay, all right. Okay, great. Anybody else from the other groups? Maybe Mariano's group, Trini's group is the same. Any idea for the targeted samples? For the target samples, yes, you sure. Uh, I sell it a target market for the samples. Okay, all right, that's okay, very good. Let's see, then we had random samples. What is random samples for you guys? Anybody from any group? Uh, what is it, is, it is delivery a sample anything. Okay, all right, all right. Someone else from another group? I think is. uh the random sample is when people use or I don't know how to say consumir. Consume? Or use? Consume. Is what is one is when everybody wants to use or consume the product. Okay. All right. Okay. Fair enough. Anybody else? Debbie, what do you have for, in your group? What did you come up with random samples? When we do a uh, uh, random sample, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, to the different peoples. Okay, okay, all right. I understand what you're saying, very good. Anybody else? Um, from Carlos Vanessa's group, we had Ever maybe, or Leti, Chamba. Miss, in, in the random sample for me, well, I think is when you give the different, uh, when you give sample a different people and then you, you get the opinion about the product. Okay. All right, all right, very good. So in this case, it's not a specific someone, right? It's not targeted. Like it's the opposite of targeted samples, right? Is that correct for you guys? Yeah. Yeah, all right, pretty much what it is. Thank you. Then we have competitive threat. What is that? What is competitive threat in your own words? It is a risk of competition. Ah, you okay. sure? Yes. When the other market have the same products. Okay. All right. Very good. Anybody else? Any other definition for that one? Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Tell me. Mm, well, um. Um, an action to development innovation product. That is what? Because, because 
um, many companies um, um, has the co a, um, a, he create uh, the the same product. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So so also a uh, provoke the company has to create a new a new pro a new product. Uh -huh. uh, se ven alguna amenaza en ese aspecto. Yeah, all right. Yeah, they they have no. they they are threatened. All right. Yes. All right. Let's see. Very nice. All right. And the last one. What is bias, guy? Unbiased. I think it is. Right. What is that word? Anybody with that one? Sabían esa palabra? Habían escuchado esa palabra antes? Not too sure. So. All right, so what does it mean? Uh, when, me teacher? Yes, please go ahead. Uh, when the person does, doesn't know, not know the product it is. When the person doesn't know the product is. Okay, all right, so that's unbiased, very good. Anybody else with that one? Kevin? I got an idea, but I'm not, I don't know. It's good. Yeah. But I think I think is a uh, for example when two company have a similar product and the characteristic, mm -hmm. and they they have they got probably to get the the, the target, mm -hmm. the market. Okay. Now that's unbiased, or that is the threat. The competitive threat. Competitive threat. threat. Oh, yeah. That's the one, Kevin. Yes, for sure. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Very good. Ever, what do you have for the last one? I'm biased. I don't have either, teacher, because we we researched the definition about the word. Yeah. And we, we occur with the, the partner. For the de definition, we put in it if the method is, is is the method of design or creation a new product focusing to a brand of people. Mariano, what happened? Espérenme a ver que no le escuché eso último. <laughs> noche, no, noche de trova de Mariano. Yeah, Mariano, what happened? All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, for the. Dicho, yo tengo el audio apagado. No, yo se lo acabo de apagar, Marianito. <laughs> Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry, Mariano. I'm kidding. All right, Ever, continue, please. Okay, for the last one is the method of design, a creation, a new product focusing to a Bible to the old people. Okay. All right. Okay. What about the other the other groups with unbiased? The last word. Unbiased. Um, Teacher is showing no prejudices or something. Uh huh. All right. So if you have looked at it, I mean, you probably looked up at the word. It's unbiased is imparcial. All right. So it's like yeah. someone that or someone or something that is not here or there. It's just neutral kind of thing. All right. Like impartial kind of thing. So that's biased. Unbiased. All right. Very good. Now. I asked you to write example sentences using these words. Were you able to do that too? Did you do the other part of the exercise or only the definitions? I, I have only, only one Only the definitions. Ah. I, I have only one sentence. Excellent, Danielito. <laughs> <laughs> it's, right. for the, it's, it's for the number one uh, uh -huh. target example. Okay, all right, very good, okay. No los voy a mandar a ningún grupo, les voy a dar cinco minutos aquí. Try to make, son cuatro, ¿verdad? Only four words, yes. Try to make your sentences right now using targeted sample, random sample, sorry, competitive thread, and unbiased in sentences. Lo van a hacer individual, all right? So it's 9.37 at 9.42, I'll start asking. Okay, so make your sentences individually, please.
Teacher, page 23, did you say? Yes, I believe, yeah, page 23, exercise six, Anita. Okay. Are you guys ready? Not yet. Okay. All right, I'll give you like three more minutes and let me know, please. You want to know different?
All right, let's see. Danny, tell us one of your sentences, please. Okay. Um, for the magic power products, we'll use the target example. Oh, I like that. All right, very good. Okay, let's see. Um, Chamba, do you have a sentence using one of these four words? Is the using the random sample? Uh -huh. Well, eh, when you need to know the different opinion the customer you can reach, the random sample is your better your better option. Your best option. Best. Yes, your best option. Very good, Chamba. I like that sentence. Very good. Letty, do you have a sentence? Maybe not. All right, that's okay. Um, oh, Letty. Ok, teníamos que crear una oración de las... De, la que ¿Cuál, cuál? de hecho, una oración por cada palabra, Leti. Leti. Ay, pero solo creí, creé una. Dicho. No, no importa, dígamela, no hay problema. Ok. Ok. De... The companies are creating a new product and they think uh, launch uh, to offer uh, to offer uh, several people. Okay, they're thinking to launch. All right, a new product. Okay, that's fine. Let's see, Carla Vanessa, do you have a sentence? Yes, uh, we have to do the target example for the new product. Yeah, all right, very good. Walter, can you tell me a sentence? Yes, I will. For example, uh, the laboratory need testing a new medicine to the flow, so they need to select a random sample for wherever agents, agents and then analyze the result. Okay, all right, very good. That's fine, let's see. Um, I don't know, Domingo, Ever. Oh, bye, bye. Con las cámaras apagadas, ¿qué pasó? Yo sé que Ever está sin luz. That's okay. Thank you, Mariano. All right, very good. Aha, Mariano, ya que encendió su camarita, tell me your sentence. The, the, the company needs uh, three persons for testing a new product with the random samples. Okay, all right. Ahora, three persons or three people, Mariano? Three people. Excellent, sin la S, ¿verdad? Three people, nada más. Three people. Yeah, porque ya es plural eso. Okay, very good. Let's see, Bismar, okay, thank you. Ya lo veo, Bismar, thank you. All right, Bismar, tell me one example, please. Uh, the manager believe that the random sample have be for her person. The tell me the beginning of it. The the manager believe that that's the random sample have be for half person. Okay. All right. Half people. No, it's okay. All right, that's fine. Let's see, Debbie, do you have a sentence? Yeah, any. Okay. Uh, and other companies' prices are competitive. Here. Again, Debbie? Another company's prices are a competitive uh, fear. A, a competitive threat. Is this like a threat. threat? Yes, very good. Yeah, it's nice. I like that one. Very good. Okay, let's see, guys, here. Let me just take you here. Okay. Let's, we're going to go right now, guys. Vamos a, eh, hoy no quise hacerlo de los grupos del producto porque no sabía si todos iban o la mayoría iba a poder entrar por la cuestión del fallo de luz que tuvimos casi que in the country. Entonces, eh, igual vamos a ver cómo estamos mañana. Creería que mañana sí lo podemos hacer. All right, right now, vamos a pasar a la página. Ahorita le digo. 
Para los últimos 10 minutos, let's go over to page 24, exercise 2. We're just going to read this right now y luego mañana regresamos y terminamos lo demás que tenemos pendiente de la unidad eh, que ya hemos visto. All right, so let's go here. Page 24, exercise 2. Vamos a leer. A ver, Walter, usted empieza en las dos primeras líneas, Walter. Eh, luego sigue Debbie, luego Miss Mar. Mariano, you're yeah. number three. Eh, Car <laughs> Carla, sí, Carlita, muy bien. Carla Michelle, number four. All right, así me gusta. Very nice, thank you. Okay, let's see. What about Chamba? You will read. Ya signé el cinco. Carla Michelle era la cuatro. A las cinco no a nadie. No, right. oh, yeah. Chamba, you can do five and Daniel, you can do six. All right, let's begin, please. ¿Quién empezaba okay. a leer? Okay. You can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grade their attention and get them to provide more honest and complete responses. Excellent, thank you. Introductions. Begin the, se the session with a set of questions that will en un enable, enable? Focus group, ah. enable group, enable focus group members to get to know each other be better. Example, e example. E ex example. Mm -hmm. uh, there Example, E and G, o eso significa. Eso significa, E, G is example. Ah, okay. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> yes. Their favorite hobbies and interests, what they enjoy, focus group, etc. Thank you. Number three, who's reading number three? Me. Excellent. On, uh -huh. on starter question or activity, ha, has a fun question or do a team building game to get the groups creativity flowing. For example, has 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 them to think of three words to describe their favorite hobby. Okay, very nice. Number three. Okay, number three. Who's reading format? Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. Format way. Estaba leyendo con el micrófono apagado. Ah, excelente, María. <laughs> Format. When choosing focus group questions, be sure to include a mix of multiple, multiple, multiply choice questions to provide structure and direction, and open up questions to allow for further, further exploration and discovery. All right, thank you, Mariano. Carla Michelle, number four. Writing scale, select and um, proprietor, write this key to measure. measuring, measure different levels, levels? Of, levels of the problem. Excellent, thank you, Carla Michelle. Who's reading five? Chamba, right? Yes, miss. Mm -hmm. Specificity. Specificity. Espe specific. Repeat. <laughs> no se preocupe. Specificity. 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 Sí. Sí. No se preocupe, ahora vamos a ver. Ajá, okay. En net, avoid bag, bag, open it, question that simple, ask why the word why has a negative meaning. It makes the response think their first answer was not good. <laughs> Instead, ask, respond to provide some specific example of that they liked or did not like about the item in question. Okay, thank you. And who's reading six, Daniel? Me, yes, okay. Uh, closing. 
thanks the participants for their help and ask if there anything could be done to improve their experiences as a member of the focus group. Excellent, thank you. De hecho, hay eh, un par de palabras que tenemos que ver ahí, maybe for meaning and maybe for pronunciation. Ahorita voy a enfocarme with pronunciation, so please pay attention. It says, you can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grab their attention and get them to provide more honest oh, and complete oh, responses. Oh, Introductions. Begin the session with a, with a set of questions that will enable focus group members to get to know each other better. Example, their favorite hobbies and interests, what they enjoy, focus groups, etc. Number two. Fun started questions for activity. Me ayuda con un micrófono por ahí. Ask a fun question or do a team building game to get the group's creativity flowing. For example, ask them to think of three words to describe their favorite hobby. Number three, format. When choosing focus group questions, be sure to include a mix of multiple choice questions to provide a structure and direction and open-ended questions to allow for further exploration and discovery. Number four, rating scale. Select an appropriate rating scale to measure different levels of approval. Number five, a specificity. Avoid vague, open-ended questions that simply ask why. The word why has a negative meaning. It makes the respondent think their first answer was not good. Instead, ask respondents to provide some specific examples of what they liked or did not like about the item in question. Closing, thank the participants for their help and ask if there is anything, sorry, and ask if there is, no, and ask if there, ajá, es que falta el es, and ask if there is anything could be done to improve their experience as a member of the focus group, okay? So now that's the reading, guys. Revíselo ahí, tenemos tres minutitos, bueno, dos. Dos minutitos. Revise si hay alguna palabra en serio que usted dice, Dios mío, ¿qué es eso? How do you pronounce that? Measure. Eh, okay. Measure is this one, ¿verdad? ¿Es, ¿A eso se refiere, Bisma? Yes. All right. Measure es medir y la pronunciación es measure. Anybody else? Teacher, can you pronounce the number five? The first one? Yes. A specificity. <laughs> Esta. Yes. Yeah. That one. Specificity. The next word, teacher, avoid what? Vague. Open ended. Vague. 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 Como que fuera V E G. Vague. Vague of In like the... vago. All right. Algo que no es muy claro. Open ended uh, questions. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Excellent. Another one, guys. Miss, can yeah. you repeat the, the, the meaning of the bag? Vague, vague. Como que fuera, usted lo, se lo voy a escribir así. Usted imagínese lo que es así. Vague. ¿Y qué significa, teacher? Vago. Como eh, evite así como preguntas que no son como muy concretas, sino que así como medio Vaga. vagas. <laughs> All right, yes. Okay. Any other? Enable. Yes, I was saying yo. Enable. Uy, no, eso no es. Enable. Enable. Ahorita voy. Oh, my, my mouse. Enable. Igual, mañana vamos a continuar con esto y con lo que nos hace falta, pero lo voy a dejar aquí coloreado para que ya mañana sepamos de esas. Entonces, ahorita tenemos enable, measure, specificity, vague. All right? Yes? 
All right, guys, voy a dejar de compartir so I can take the last attendance and you guys can go and rest. Sigan avanzando en sus tareas de la plataforma, please. Anita, mañana nos ponemos en modo que la pongan en su plataforma, oye. Abner Eli Fuentes Flores. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Present. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present, teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present, teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present, teacher. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Tengo Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Kevin Esteban Mejibar Merino. I'm here. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present, Miss. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemus. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Thank you. Ana María Palacios Araujo. Present, teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Dismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present. Thank you. And David Jasmine Girón Ramírez. Present. All right, very good. Carlita, Michelle, no sé si se puede quedar uh, un ratito. All right. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right, guys, the rest of you, you may go. Have a great night. I'll see you all tomorrow. Seguimos con la, la plataforma avanzando, please. Bye. Bye. Good night. Teacher. Yes, Good then. night, teacher. Present. Sí, sí, le tengo. I have problem with the internet. No se preocupe, yo sé, pero tranquila, yo ya le aprecio el chequecito. <laughs> Gracias, teacher. Bueno, usted le pico y desee. Bye. All right, Michelle. Entonces, how are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Very good, Carlita. Very nice. Carlita, yo sé que es, es difícil, ¿verdad? Porque estamos en un nivel. Eh, pero igual, como le decía antes, súper bien que usted esté aquí. Intentando, ¿verdad? Tratando de agarrar lo más posible y aprender. Siempre se aprende algo. ¿Verdad? Y aquí estamos para ayudarle siempre. Oye, así es que no, no, no se preocupe con eso de la pronunciación. A todos nos cuesta al principio, obviamente. All right. Y por eso hacemos esos ejercicios, ¿verdad? Porque si usted se fija, eh, pues todavía nos cuestan muchas palabras a todos los demás compañeros, ¿verdad? Entonces la idea es como ir mejorando la pronunciación de todos y todas y le cae súper bien a usted porque de paso también pues aprende, ¿verdad? Así es que Ánimo, Carlita, ya se va a terminar en unos 10 días más o menos. Vamos terminando 12 días y luego ya va a estar en su nivel que le corresponde. Sí, pero la verdad es que gracias y pues a, a ellos también porque siempre me, me tratan de incluir, ¿verdad? Y me dicen que les dé ideas. Sí, claro. Aunque sea en español, aunque a veces los escucho hablar inglés y me pierdo un poco. Pero aprendo, hay cosas que, como les digo a ellos, hay cosas que sí las entiendo, pero me cuesta formularlas un poco. Claro, claro que sí. Eh, Carlita, le iba a preguntar, eh, la plataforma usted la ha logrado hacer, Carla. Lo que pasa es que como está inscrita en este nivel, le tocaría hacer esa plataforma. Pero no sé si tiene los accesos. Sí, sí que creo que sí me mandaron el link, pero no he podido entrar porque en el teléfono me cuesta un poco. Entonces voy a ver si ese fin de semana eh, voy donde mi hermana que me preste la compu para tratar de hacerla. Ok, all right. Sí, eh, de igual forma, Carla, si tiene alguna pregunta o algo con las respuestas o eh, cualquier cosa ahí me avisa y yo con mucho gusto le ayudo, oye. Gracias, oye. No se vaya quedando atrás y, y e igual pues eh, ahí estamos para ayudarle. De todas maneras, déjeme preguntar eso. Con respecto a su caso mañana, por el hecho de que sabemos que no tendríamos que estar en este nivel, sin embargo, aquí estamos y quiero ver qué me dicen ellos. Pero usted, cuando tenga el tiempo, si, eh, y si me dicen ellos que sí la tendría que hacer, usted me avisa y yo le puedo estar ayudando. Oye. 
Maestra, bien, gracias, teacher. Bye, Carlita. Descansa entonces. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. You too. Bye.